the truth. Very muscle, muscle. Ah! Now relax, relax. We don't want your face coming up with it, do we? Hideous room. <laughs> oh God, death by minibar. How glamorous! Huh? Ow! You flew all the way here. You mm. hate to fly. Mm. And after we get back this evening, we have this thing with Verna's family in the Hamptons. You're butting in. Mm. What I mean when I say. She's annoyingly perfect. Is that there's nothing annoying about her perfection? It is. It is vulnerable and endearing, and that is annoying as shit. Ah, oh, you like her? I didn't have to hate her. I'd adore her. This is my whole life's happiness. I have to be ruthless. He was in love with me every day for nine years. I can make him happier than she can. Yes, I am breaking her heart in the short run, but really, really doing her a gigantic favor. She would be so miserable tagging along after this insensitive doofus. Jules, do you really love him? Or is this just about winning? Seriously? In the beginning, it was mostly this prior claim. He belonged to me. But now, when I'm with him, he's just so wonderful. How come I never knew that when I could have had him? It's amazing the clarity that comes with psychotic jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> George, believe me. If he was feeling what I'm feeling, then he would know how it feels. It's horrible. What? Just tell him you love him. Oh. Oh, Julianne. Tell him... Tell him you've loved him for nine years. But that you're afraid of love. Yeah, tell him you're afraid of love. Afraid of needing. Oh, needing what? To belong to someone. We all ask me, huh? I'm sorry about that. Tell him. Tell him this is the worst, the cruelest, the dumbest moment to do this to him, but there it is. He's got to choose. Tell him the actual truth? Well, maybe not the actual truth. Highlights. 